Wolves 20, Casper Tigers 34 in the sheds, making your Saturday morning exceptional as always here. Let's get into this game. First and foremost, well done to the Casper Tigers backing up that win against St. Helens. Craig Lingard said in his pre-match press conference, no good beating Saints if you're going to go down to London and lose. And lose, they of course did not a really solid opening try from Texoy. Yeah, again, causing real damage uh, on the rugby league field. He's in great form, isn't he? For the Casper Tigers, off he goes from dummy half. What was Louis Bainek doing? I do not know. Completely and utterly bamboozled. Josh Rockle want his time again as well at fullback with that, but well done to Texoy. Two more tries in this, of course, for any senior. He's now on 13 alongside Matt Dufty, chasing down Liam Marshall, having a great season, is in his senior. Uh, can Casper Tigers go three from three next week against the Catalan Dragons? The last time they went three from three, actually, Catalan were involved in that 2022. You have to go back to round 15 to 17. They beat Toulouse, Catalans, and then Huddersfield. Can the Casper Tigers go three from three next week? Well, I'm telling you now, you wouldn't bet against them playing really well. Unbelievable, though, wasn't it? We said on throughout all of last week's programming that, you know, they played the top three teams in Hull, KR, Wigan and St. Helens and can see the 29. And in this game, they can see, you know, they can see 20 to the London Broncos. You've got to give the Broncos a lot of credit for that. A lot of credit. I thought some of their tries were really nice. Not, you know, really good Josh Rourke. Yeah, again, that's his second in two games now for Josh Rourke. Isn't he in great form? Keeping Alex Walker on the sideline. Will Lavelle going over his first try of the season. And let's not forget, they bombed two tries. I mean, you know, Mike Eccles will be scratching his head, won't he? I mean, all they had to do was put two, two put the ball down over the line and he's there. So it could have been a lot, lot closer to this. But I think, you know, overall, Castleford were good value for the two points in this one. No question. I already mentioned the Hoy tries. I thought the Ron Mills try was very, very easy on the eye as well. Very nicely taken. Really good interplay that between the Castleford Tigers in this one. I mean, in terms of live stats, I mean, it's the errors. It's the errors that continue to kill London Broncos this year. 15 errors in this game to five. And like I say, two of them were of course, dropping the ball over the line. They won that time again. And if you compound that with 30 missed tackles as well, you really are going to start to struggle. I thought they handled Reese Kennedy's yellow card really well. Uh, there was another couple of decisions in there where you could think, hey, you know, if Kennedy's going, maybe, uh, you know, a cast player here or there could have gone. But no, that's not the way it was seen on the day. But like I say, really, apart from that, this game really close to run metres, very, very close, only 30 run metres-ish between them in this game. Post-contact metres actually went the way of the London Broncos, 630 to 590. 96 in the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, all in all, I do think Casper Tiger deserved to win this game. Really pleased for Craig Lingard. Beautiful tries. Uh, like I say, I was watching the Wigan Saints game live. I watched this one back this morning. And I have to say, it was a very entertaining game. And I think the fact that the pitch was a little bit shorter as well made for an entertaining game where these two teams were concerned. But yeah, Castleford, who'd have thought it? 11 points alongside Lee Leopards now. Who would have thought that at the start of the season? Certainly not the Lee Leopards fans. That's for certain. Right, let's get into the 3 2 1. For anybody who's watched this game, it has to be Mr. Jacob Milky Miller. Oh, yes, that's what they call him, Milky in Castleford. That's what Craig Lingard calls him anyway. And let me tell you now, he was full of cal him in this one. He'll be doing the adverts very, very soon, I'm sure, for uh, for Milk on the TV. Fantastic stuff. Four, four assists. You, you can't knock it, can you? Four assists in the game. Really, really good. I thought his kicking game as well in, in at times was very, very nice as well. Uh, so, well done to Jacob Miller. Coming for a lot of criticism, I think, since he's gone to the Casper Tigers, but this was one of his better games. And I know what Casper fans will be saying. It was against London. Let's see what he does next week. But you know what? In this game, no question, he was man of the match. Two points goes to Texoy. Yet another brilliant, I mean, fantastic try. Nice assisting there again. 18 carries, 178 metres, seven tackle busts in the game, one clean break. Really strong quality performance this from Texoy. And I'm going to give the one point to the captain of the London Broncos, Will Will Lavelle. Uh, of course, he got his try, but he was, you know, 32 tackles in defence, seven marker tackles in this, and he also went over 100 metres in attack. I thought he's well worthy of a point in this one. Well played to him as well. Other big, uh, big knocks on the game. Uh, Liam Horney got 34 tackles for the Castle for Tigers, Maurice Mustafa, uh, he got 35 as well. On the other side, Davis at Hooker, he got 37 for the London Broncos, 30 as well from Reese Kennedy. So some really good good efforts there in terms of defence. In terms of metre making, you know, Liam Kershaw, 141 metres coming out of backfield in this mechanic, got 117 as well. Uh, you know, Corey Hall got over 100 metres in the game. So too did Liam Horn. So too did Ellie Elterkem. I like Ellie Elterkem. I have to say, uh, really, really good player. He put in some solid, solid tackles. One actually uh, was a try saver in this game, which again, I think we need to mention in dispatches. But look, Casper Tigers, congratulations to you Tigers fans. You know, at the earlier part of the season, 
you know, there's a lot of people thinking this could be a long, hard campaign campaign for you. It is, don't get me wrong, but you're picking up some good wins now and your your support and loyalty is being rewarded by some wins. Go and enjoy them. Get yourself some beers. Get them uh, get them nicely chilled. Have a couple of them this evening. Maybe get yourself a nice fillet steak. I think you deserve one. As for the London Broncos, no shame in this. Yet again, very, very competitive. Really enjoying what Mike Eccles is doing. And, of course, there's a certain job at Huddersfield going. Mm, I'm just going to leave that one there. What do you think? Mike Eccles for Huddersfield, get in the chat. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe in the sheds. He's up and running this Saturday morning. We'll be back with a big one. Wigging against St. Helens a little bit later on. But for now, that has been in the sheds. London Broncos 20, the Castle of Tigers 34. Well done, Craig Lingard. On to Catalan. Yeah.